setting up your Wi-Fi and app. There's nothing better than having control over your connected home, except perhaps for being able to do it all from the palm of your hand. That's why the app features everything you need to manage your home or small business Wi-Fi connectivity experience. Best of all, you can install it yourself and be up and running within a few minutes. Shall we begin? With your system connected, you can get started with the app by simply downloading it from either the Apple App Store or Google Play Store. Once downloaded, open the app on your mobile device and tap Sign Up located near the bottom of your screen. Next, you'll need to fill out the registration form with your personal information. When creating your password, remember, you'll want to choose a strong password that is unique, yet one you can recall easily. Next, choose the region where you're operating your system. And finally, agree to the terms and conditions. If your new system is already plugged in and connected, select Yes. This will skip the guided wiring instructions that you do not need. If your system is not hooked up yet, just select Not Sure and follow the steps on screen to be guided through the installation process. To get things connected, locate your existing internet service device. This is likely an ONT or modem. Then unplug the power to your current internet service device. After two minutes, plug it back in. This will refresh your network. Next, plug in a new ethernet cable in the LAN port of your internet service device into the WAN port on your new system. Now, plug your new system into a power outlet. It will take several minutes for the unit to be ready with a solid blue light. Once the system is powered on and ready to go, scan the QR code on the bottom or side panel of your system. As an alternative, you can enter the MAC address and serial number of the plate in that location. If your Wi-Fi has already been set up on your new system, you can select Click Here to Skip. This will take you directly to the dashboard of your app. If you're setting up Wi-Fi with this system for the first time, you'll need to name your network and create your Wi-Fi password. A few things to remember with this part of the setup are that the router name you enter will remain the same throughout the app, and the network name or SSID you choose is what is used as your wireless connection name. Finally, enter a password for your wireless network. If you don't want to change it on all the devices in your home, use your existing wireless SSID and password from your old router. Select Submit to finish your setup. And just like that, you're ready to command your home. Thanks for watching.